All right, what's up, Tuneheads? Welcome to a Tuesday afternoon. It's afternoon where I'm at. Afternoon broadcast here at Universal TV. I am your host, Tune Box. Thank you so much for being with me today. Hope you're having a great day wherever you are, whatever you're doing. But today here on the broadcast, we are playing some Fallout 4. This is my character. This is Judy Morgan. Judy is rocking her Diva Shades, and I want to give you... A SoundCloud link is below, but now I've... Now, um, re-release some of my old music that I have previously recorded. I actually wrote uh, this song back in 2008, but I'm posting it, reposting it for the first time in quite a few years. It's called Diva Shades, and it's to commemorate Judy and her Diva Shades. So I'll let you see her, let you see Judy's uh, Diva Shades here. She's rocking them hard. What's up, uh, Hoovian Girl? Welcome to the broadcast. Glad you're here with us today. How have you been, Hoovian Girl? I haven't uh, seen you around in a while. We've missed you on here. Sort of a girl power day. We're going to do guess, some uh, quests for the Minutemen, which I'm affectionately uh, referring to them as the Minute Women, because my character is, of course, John a female. You to try out the Check out a few things here real quick before I go. I was just, I was just messing around last night trying to get a good picture of Judy and her diva shades, and I uh, found one. So we just ended up kind of over here. I thought maybe the skyline would be a good, uh, a good backdrop for a picture for, for her. Theo, what's going on, man? Right. Welcome, man. Hope, hope you're having a great day. You're on lunch right now, probably, Theo. Uh, Hoovian Girl, it's great to have you back as well on the broadcast. So glad you're here. All right, let's fast travel, shall we? We shall. Now, we are going to go down here to the reservoir. Because we got to finish this quest. I don't think I ever finished this quest with my last character. So we'll see how this goes. That's good. You're outside enjoying the weather. I hope the weather's nice over in Germany right now. It's not too hot here. There's the there's the Jake the Snake. Uh, there's the Jake the Snake daily Fallout Three tweet. Um, I hope it's nice in Germany. It's only been 90 degrees here, which is uh, here in Atlanta, which is just like a cool spring day, basically. So anyway, like I was saying, like now, now I'm, I'm going to start releasing maybe a track once a month or once every two weeks. And who knows, maybe I'll get back in, into writing and uh, get back into the studio and uh, make, some new, make some new songs. Hopefully, a, that's a cool green bandana he's got there. Let's take that. Let's see if we can put that on Judy. That would be a good look. Yeah, <laughs> Theo's conversing this for you. It is, man. It's probably humid where you're at too, Jake, in the Midwest. But man, it's been. It was like I woke up this morning. It was like 94% humidity, which is actually absolutely ridiculous. The crows are always just hanging out here. Had to shoot a crow. Let me turn my volume up a little bit here. Low audio volume. There we go. Much better. Let me see. I've already cleared this out. I've already done most of this quest, actually. With a 105 degree heat, in, heat index, unbelievable. Going to England on Friday. Well, it's gonna be. It's quite hot in England too. I'll be. I'll be in England in August, so I'm looking forward to. To seeing seeing England, seeing Europe for the first time actually. So looking forward to that. All right, let's try this. Let's see if we can get this green bandana on Judy right now. That would be a great look, but I think I might have to give up. Give up something here. I can have them all on. Oh, Judy's going to look awesome. That is a great look. Oh, I love it. <laughs> That's a great look. Got the gunner bandana on now. We're going to we're going to go with that. I love it. I need to get her a new hat. I wonder I wanted to have that kind of Amelia Earhart look about her. So, we need to find her like an aviation hat. Not necessarily like a um I want it to be an open-faced hat. I don't want to close off her face completely because I want to be able to have the bandana and the sunglasses on. Bandit Judy. Yeah, Hoovian Girl, I think I'm going to like it too. Uh, we're going to stay in... My wife and I are going to stay in London for a few days, then go to a wedding over out in York, and then we will uh, come back to England before we travel. So we're going to see Wimbledon, which I'm kind of excited about. 
we will uh, visit all the sites. I know the Queen is not in Buckingham Palace, so we're looking forward to visiting Buckingham Palace. We've already bought our tickets for that. Huh, have I not been down here? Wait, he's like, wait, what's that sound? Die, my alert. Reload, Judy. Reload, Judy. I like that look. I like it a lot. Just need to get her a better a better hat for sure. And there goes the mud crab flying. Hopefully my AP will get up here at my attack points. That was a great shot, Judy. All right, we got a we got a very high likelihood of hitting her hitting its torso right now. We will take the meat here because. Let's quickly heal up here as well. Should have plenty of... Ooh, some Salisbury steak sounds good right about now. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow, 15 rads on that Meyer Lurk meat. Gross. So we just kind of came in a different way here, which is totally fine. So I never completed this quest, so I might need a little bit of help with this. I'm 90% sure you've done this quest before, Hoovian girl. Form a posse to terrorize the wasteland. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking, Theo. Desk fan! There's your desk fan, Theo. Oh, what's in here? Oh, crap. What's in here? Whoa! Hey! Hey! Not cool, turret. Not cool. Oh, there's another uh, turret over here. Big Ben is on pause. Why is Big Ben on pause? Reconstruction. Ah, it's all good. We're, we're gonna do. We're gonna be total tourists, so we're gonna see all the touristy stuff. All right, so just. Oh boy. Hammered by that, uh. I'm going all clawed on you, Indy. Just going right in, not even thinking about things. Alright, well, I got some exciting announcement. As long as Claude is able to join Friday's broadcast, we are going to have the first uh, broadcast of the State of Decay games. I'm going to call it the Zombie Games, where Claude and I will compete against each other in five events that we decide on, and it's going to be a lot of fun for us to see those compete. It's going to be racing games, there will be, um, There'll be clearing infestation games. We're going to try to do all these kind of games to uh, really make some good content. I'm looking forward to the uh, first. Where is that shot coming? There it is. We got a crit ready now, too. Not quite, Claw, but it was close. All right. We don't have to go sneak anymore. All right, let's, let's heal up again. Do I have a stim pack? I do have stim packs. On my uh, the shotgun is a beast. It's it's just a double barrel. But I mean, I'm I'm waiting until I get that combat shotgun. You know, Sweet. Theo. Cop, cop, uh, the combat shotgun is definitely where it's at. Grab a few things here. Reload my shoddy. There's some stim packs. Nice. Nothing else really of much use in here. The uh, turret right there. This should take him out. Oh shoot, Judy's got to reload. There we go. And I've had this gun for a while, actually. Alright, there's going to be more Meyer Lurks around. We're hidden right now, so this is actually to my benefit. Oh, wow, I got... Let's load up on that. Get a crit going here. Nice. I can't believe I didn't fin... Whoa! Hey, Mr. Meyer Lurk. 
You just switch to the shotgun here. Anyway, I'm so glad that I'm really coming around to Vatch, you know, like, I mean, Hoovian Girl and and uh, and Jake are definitely like, hey, why don't you use Vats more? Why don't you use Vats more? I'm like, well, just used to playing first-person shooters, so I'm not really uh, sure about Vats, but man, it has been a game-changer. It's, it's just another one of those things that makes this game really interesting and really great, too. I don't want to close the lid. I want to activate the pump control. Actually, this should... Alright, so we got one more pump station to visit here. More Mirelurks in our future. Let's figure out how to get down now. It's, uh, it's the Minute Women, DJ. Referring to Judy as one of the Minute Women. We're going to do a quick save right here as well. Oh boy, here they come. No, we don't want to go torso. We actually want to go play. Reload, Judy! You see why I need the combat shotgun so much now. Alright, reload quick. Looks like I got plenty of ammo. Reload, Judy. I could use a mysterious stranger right about now, you know? Oh, dang, another turret. Ah, oh, multiple turrets now shooting at me. They sure like to protect their water pumps. There it is. Should get it. Got it. Beautiful. Alright. We're not going to be alone here very long. Guarantee it. Yeah, they don't even bother the Mire Alerts. They go after human targets, don't they? Alright, let's get them in a choke point here, though. We want them in a nice little choke point. I have some Molotov cocktails here. I also like how I just burn the water right there. One more shot. That should do it. Ah, I got the shell. He gave me the shell! He gave me the shell! Oh, no. No, no, no. Give me, give me that torso. Oh, I'm out of action points. This isn't good. This isn't great. Well, this isn't great. I'm trapped. Oh, this, uh, this Marlark had lunch money. Here on the lunch box. You forgot about this quest? This is the one where you get... It's, it's a minute... If you didn't do the minute, man, then you may not have run into this quest, but it's one to get the water turned on here. Oh, yeah, just getting irradiated here. Totally irradiated. I never finished it the first time I did it. It's the deepest I've ever gone into this quest. We have drained the water. Get a couple of skin packs here. There, that'll get me back up to 100. There's no telling what else I'm going to run into here, though, you know? This mission always gives you anxiety. Riz, what's going on, man? I have a feeling like I'm about to run into, like, a queen Mirelurk or something. I'm just not prepared for that whatsoever. Oh boy, that there's something behind that door, isn't there? <laughs> oh yeah, Hoovian Girl is having the anxiety brought on by Riz rem reminds her of uh, what's about to happen probably behind this door. Let's see what I can get into. Let's move very carefully here. I'm gonna move sneaky. Oh boy, they're trying to load me up on stuff here. You know what that means? Something crazy is about to happen right here. Yeah, 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 I saw that. Congratulations, uh, Riz. Congratulations on your first solo win. Best I ever did in solos was second place. And Fire... Well, I didn't do it. Firefly did it. 
You're still celebrating that. Well, congratulations, man. How do you think about Season 5? How are you enjoying that, Riz? Hopefully this is it for this quest. Hopefully this quest is now officially over. Surface. Thanks for taking me to the surface. Alright, so we've done this quest for Grey Garden. I believe it was Grey Garden. And he returned to Supervisor White. Who, if we remember, he is a robot. Battles pass seems weak. <clears throat> we still need to get you on a broadcast here, Riz. You and Toasty. Toasty J is streaming now. If you guys aren't following Toasty, go give Toasty a follow. But um, I think I think Firefly needs to play around with you and Toasty. One weekend, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what I can do. I guess it depends on your availability as well, you know. And Toasty's availability. Toasty's the one that's really hard to nail down. I did. Look, you've got water now. Yes. That's right. That's marvelous, darling. Since marvelous. marvelous. Here, you can have some of our produce. Thanks. You're paying I'll me in produce. To give you a discount too, if there's anything oh, nice. You need. Now I simply must What's the news on follow? That's a good I'm question, hard. Jake. Um, I'm interested to know that as well. I, all I know is that. So I'm at the point where I've received. I've received my email saying that I am eligible for the beta, but I have not gotten any information about actually signing up for I mean, technically I guess I am signed up for it, but I haven't got any information about when it's going to be released yet. So I know that's going to come in an email, there'll be a little bit more to go through, and then I should be able to download it for Xbox as soon as it's available. Gotcha, gotcha, Riz. We'll make it happen. Make it happen, Cap'n. Let's see. Troubled Waters. we got to go back and talk to Preston about that. We're actually going to do this before we go back and talk to Preston. We're going to do this kidnapping at Oberlin Station as well, because Oberlin Station is just south of here, I believe. That is correct. We're going to turn it up and go south here. Switch over to my pistol. So I, got, I just got a new pistol. Let's check out this new pistol. It was a tactical hardened pistol, I believe. Let's see. Tactical hardened pistol. It's still doing the same amount of damage as my other pistol, I believe. So no need to change over to that. We're going to pack this. Do a quick save. Haven't saved in a while. I expected to run into some trolls here on the bridge, you know? I never really visited this part of the map before. Well, I hope, Riz, your anxiety has been eased since I've completed that mission. You know, I don't know that I've ever been to this particular spot here. Anything in these train cars? No. Nope. We're getting really close to Oberlin Station here. Ooh, a wild alpha mongrel. Let's just keep our uh, distance here, shall we? We shall. I'm sure I'm hidden. I don't remember this quest for Oberlin Station right off the top of my head, but I might, it might ring a bell as soon as I get here. Really close to a level up as well. Okay, this kind of looks familiar here. Good talk about this kidnapping here. I feel like with some of the other Fallout people like Karastus and uh, and and uh, Nuka Helsey, I feel like Helsey, I'm always seeing her at this particular spot. You're in luck. In luck. Rescuing kidnapped victims is my specialty. Is my specialty. Well, they said they'd be back for the ransom in a few days. If I don't pay up, they'll kill her. But I don't have that. I'll get her don't back. Don't worry. I love these back. kinds we of uh, quests here. Help. I didn't really think anyone would come. Well, the minute men, are, minute women are here. Safe, okay? I think that Judy. I'm not sure if Judy Morgan would be a feminist, but we can kind of role play her as one a little bit. All right, so there's our location. Really close to the Riptide. Let's actually fast travel to the Riptide. That's where I was earlier when I first uh, fired up the broadcast. Free your mind, freed indeed, in one of these capsules here. Oh, look what's on. 
I need to get a screenshot of that. Oh, I missed it. It'll make a great screenshot. Watching the uh, Please Stand By broadcast there, that's pretty cool. In the memory den. Alright, so now we're on the riptide. This is going to bring us really close to our spot here for this kidnapping quest. Actually, I'd like to kind of sit down and wait until it's uh, wait until it's light. I guess that's not happening, is it? If you're the kind of who is, uh, Luckily, I took out all the raiders there. Let's see. Really close by. Hop down here and not get injured. This might be a decent quest to go strap on the power armor, but we're just going to go... I really like this outfit that Judy's wearing now, so I think I'm going to just kind of rock it. Power armor will cover up this uh, glorious outfit that we've pieced together. Still need to find, like I said earlier, still need to find a better uh, closed-faced helmet. And that's a level up, folks. Let's switch over to... Use the crit here. Got him. There's your tire iron right there. Uh, who loves tire irons? It's Jake. Jake loves tire, tire irons. Especially in State of Decay. Oh, we're at Backstreet Apparel. I have done this quest. Mysterious Stranger from the bottom. Mysterious Stranger getting some work done there. Thank you, Mysterious Stranger. I do remember this quest. Let's quick say before we go in here. Into Backstreet Apparel we go. There's some thugs right here in the entranceway, I believe. So the Mysterious Stranger is a perk you can get where a Mysterious Stranger will show up and help execute the kill for you. Let's see what else we're looking at here. We got two. Just two. A couple years back, before I met Clutch, me and a couple friends found a Oh, did I miss that one? 95% chance of a hit, and I missed. Alright. Should be one more left. Looks like there's one on the one on the heads up display here. Let's uh loot a body or two here. Uh that's what it is. The old the old turret in the shopping cart gag. I love it. Nobody fell for that one. They'll never see this turret in the shopping cart. Until they blew up the shopping cart in the process. Handed you tacos and queso. Wow. She ordered you food or she ordered food for herself and actually house. Either way, tacos and queso are good, you know. Might as well indulge, you know? Why not? Oh, she ordered food for you? Oh, that is so great. That's All right, young lady. Please, you've got to help me. I'm here to help, I'm here to set worry. you free. I'm here to rescue you. Oh my God, thank you. Let's go. Yeah, Crookshanks didn't order me any lunch. I had to make my own lunch. We can't just leave these raiders here to come back and find her. We gotta kill them, right? Go with a shot here to the body. Body here. 
That is how you do work here, folks. Desk fan! So many desk fans. Jumping in shadows. Yeah, you're probably right. What's in this terminal? I can't. I need to get my hacker perk up, don't I? <laughs> what kind of tacos did you get, Riz? This is a question for everybody here. What's your favorite? Uh, is that a teddy bear reading the newspaper? This is amazing. Can I get a picture of this? I want to get a picture of this. That's great. I don't think I've ever recognized this before. Let me get a. Uh, let me get a picture real quick. Got to capture these moments, you know. Moments are great. You know, we're just gonna leave that great work of. Uh, are they? Is he reading the Boston Bugle? Reading the Bugle. Sitting on the can, just reading the Bugle. I'm sorry, honey. We just can't leave any of these people. We can't leave these raiders alive. Not, not in Backstreet Apparel. Huh? Oh, bad luck. Bad luck, young lady. This guy's got a tire iron. Another tire iron. Oh no! Critical. Karma's paying. Off. I think I shot him one too many times there. You've never had a taco. Well, I'm not surprised living that far. Can you not get Mexican food? Can you even get Mexican food in London somewhere? You're missing out on a whole, whole other level of uh, flavors. Look, they're going to sleep. Get some motherfucker. Judy. That should be it, right? That should be it. More Molotov cocktails. Roll of duct tape. Pack of duct tape. All right, let's use it. Let's let's use this level up real quick. Yeah, I love well, I love Indian food. I actually had curry yesterday for lunch. Uh, Toasty, what's up, man? Welcome to the broadcast, my friend. I'm really thinking about uh, watched a little bit of Toasty play play uh, last night. You can check him out here now on uh, on Tuniver I'm sorry on uh, on Twitch. He is broadcasting to his heart's content now. Let's see. I'm really considering medic, either medic or hacker. I'm kind of thinking hacker might really come in handy now. We'll go with hacker. You saw one Mexican restaurant in in Dublin. But the guy that owned it was actually Guatemalan. He just called it a Mexican restaurant. No Irish knew Guatemalan food was. Yeah, that's true. And and, and there's probably quite a few similarities between the two, right? You know, like, uh, you know, beans and, and rice and and then uh, some type of protein, you know. I was surprised though. Theo and I have have a have a mutual friend from Argentina. I was surprised at the Italian influence that's in Argentina about how like pasta is really big in Argentina. You would think like it's oh it's South America. It's black beans and rice, and it's not the not not the uh, not the case at all. Well, why this uh, particular lock here is giving me a little bit of trouble. We want that duct tape. We want that duct tape that's in here. All right, off to the fins, and we are taking this young lady back to Oberlin Station. Tosi, how was your lunch, sir? Tosi's got all the cool overlays and stuff on his uh, on his channel. I'll, I'll be there one day. Looks like this is the break area here for the uh, the Raiders. They make people walk this plank right here, probably, too. All right, looks like there's another teddy bear. And let's get all that we can from here. Nice. All right, so let's travel back to Oberlin Station now. And then we'll go talk to Preston about both of these quests here. 
Here we are. Making you hungry again. Sorry. Had a steak melt and onion rings, probably from the chili dog. That sounds like a chili dog meal right there, Toasty. Only Toasty and I can truly understand those uh, North Georgia references. That is very true, Toasty. I'm sorry, uh, Theo. Hoovian girl could easily, if she could find some... I think, you know, but can she find tortillas is the question. Hey. I was correct. I knew it. <laughs> All right. In my defense, that was not a lucky guess. That was a pretty was, educated uh, guess. Being Crosby. I don't know how yep. to thank you for that rescue you pulled off. Thanks to the Minutemen. Just remember that this is all thanks to the Minutemen. Or Minute Women. That's why we've decided to join the Minutemen. All right, Overland Station is joining the Minutemen. Well, all right. This article in, uh, we got a few caps for that. All right, let's travel back to see our good friend Boy, Preston Garvey. Well, it's, it's and I got a ton of junk I need to drop off. I, uh, I'm not saying anyone is a sin. You know, I'm not. I'm not saying it's correct. Just a reminder to you all that you can now visit my uh, SoundCloud again um, and uh, enjoy Diva Shades because we got GD Rock in our Diva Shades. I wrote Diva Shades back in 2008. Never got it published. Um, it, does have, it, does have, it is registered with the copyright office in, the, in Washington, D.C., though. One of the only songs that I did that for. Yeah, well, it's 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 um, it's under the Tuniversal umbrella, but yeah, uh, I put Diva Diva Shades is up and on my new SoundCloud. Tuniversal has its own SoundCloud now, but it's under the uh, Tune Box umbrella this time. Drop off all this junk. Let's see if I have. Oops, no, no, no. We don't want to take these. We want to transfer. Let's see what I've got to drop off here. Pistols. No, I don't. Oh, I accidentally took those things. Okay, we want to drop off the fat man, the Roy flare Brown gun. Back with good rocking tonight. I guess. I mean, you wouldn't. You wouldn't bother. Let's drop the machete off too. <laughs> yeah, spinach and potatoes for lunch. But lunch for you was also that was like a long time ago, right? That was like five or six hours ago. Right, let's see if I have any. Let's see if I need to drop off any anything else here in the realm of black rim glasses, assault gas mask. We got a chain collar for dog meat if he wants to wear that. And some super mutant outfits, which is interesting. Right, let's go talk to Preston. See, I'll give you a look at uh give you a look at Judy now. She's rocking the bandana, rocking her diva shades. We gotta find a better hat for her though. Five hours ago, I was close. Where are you, Preston? Really excited about Friday's broadcast. We'll be back tomorrow with another episode of The Predator and Skyrim. But uh, on Friday, Thursday I'll, I'll probably broadcast State of Decay as well, but Friday when Claude comes on, I hope to have the State of Decay games. Uh... Where is Preston? What am I missing here? Why am I away? Preston, where are you? There he is. Yeah. State of Decay games. We'll have a pentathlon with events such as uh, course racing, uh, zombie I killing. It'll be a lot of fun. Seller. We've got another settlement on our side now. Good. Another win for the Minutemen. Keep it up. Another win for the Minutemen. If you've got time, something else has come up. We we've gotten big enough that we're having trouble communicating with all our settlements. It's a good problem, a good problem to, have. to have, I guess. And I have a solution. Depending on who you ask. I think it's time to retake the castle. All right, this is going to be a fun it quest, guys. Man man HQ, way before my time. Well fortified, centrally located. Oh yeah, let's do this. This is going to be fun. Powerful radio transmitter we can use. Especially now that I know a lot more about the game. When I first played this game and I did this quest, I knew nothing about it. Sounds like just what we need. But now that I know kind of what I'm getting into, it's going to be a lot, a lot better this time, I believe. Have an assault force assemble near the castle. Assemble. Yeah. Let's do this. Assault force, assemble! And meet you outside the castle. See you there. All right. So I think I'm actually gonna take. Mm, maybe I'll take dog meat with me. Let's see. Where are you, boy? He's usually over here by one of the dog houses. There's a dog house here. 
He's not here. Ain't nobody messing with uh, Judy's place here. Judy's got it well fortified. Another doghouse over here. Where are you, boy? I'd like to take dog meter Codsworth on this trip. I, I can't wait till I can actually upgrade Codsworth and you know make him a more viable partner. Hmm. I don't really know where Dogmeat is. I saw Codsworth earlier over here in one of these houses. Oh, that is so cool. I never really, I never really noticed, uh, noticed that. I should, uh, there's Codsworth over there. Let me get a picture of this, too. Be great for around Halloween time to, uh, put this up on the, uh, social media and everything. Codsworth, I need you, dude. Codsworth. Miss Morgan. Welcome back, Mum. I do hope you were able to find some assistance in Concord. Uh, new friends. You can say that. Can't have enough of those. I realize that I'm no Mr. Gutsy. Great, he's gonna be my partner. Come with me. Yes, of course. He'll help against some of those mire lurks over there by the castle for sure. I'd rather have Dogmeat as my partner, but beggars can't be choosers in this situation. All right, so let's get close to the castle. I think I'm armored up enough. I would take the fat man, but I don't think I have... I don't have any mini nukes, so it's kind of pointless to take the fat man. But there is a missile launcher in the castle, so I just need to make sure we look around for it before we take on that Queen Mirelurk. All right, so the closest we're going to get here is Big John Salvage. We'll, we'll go to there. We're probably going to run into some raiders here along the way. I've had to fight one, only one Deathclaw so far. You know what's good, uh, Toasty and Hoobian Girl, is um, spinach, potatoes, scrambled eggs, and sausage. That's a good meal right there. Chipotle is good. It's good. It's fresh. Um, it, it's kind of... you. Get, there's a uh, Super Mutant right there. Oh, he's got a, he's got a nuke. Take him out. Get him. We're getting that mini nuke we wanted. This could be bad here, Tune Heads. This guy's got a uh, an enforcer. Great. Let's get the mini nuke and get out of here, right? We can get out of here in time. Let's go, Cosworth. I'm almost dead. How did I survive that? I was so close to dying. Get us all the way back up. I'm doing no damage to this guy. What am I running into? Running into stuff. Get me out of here. Let me see if I can switch over to my... Try some fragmentation mines behind us. Whoa, major rads. Kind of lure him into that. That got me a little bit. Oh shoot, we got raiders now too. Great. He's gonna kill me. I don't know how I'm surviving this so far. There it is. There it is. There it is. Alright, can we get the death counter now, Toasty? Can we do, uh... Does death add the command? What's the command to add a death? There we go. One total death. We have the death counter now. So I would like to kill, actually kill that, the one carrying the nuke. And get that mini nuke. We could definitely use that at the castle for sure. Take a drink. There it is. There it is, Jake. Dang. Well, 
as much as I want to travel back there and get into that and get that get that nuke, I'm not going to. That could be a very uh, important part. I could probably take him out with some take him out with some explosives, but my other choice is to walk to see go to the tunnel here. We can go this way as well. It's th where is it? Three and a half hours to get to where? Tacos greater than burritos. That depends. They're both fine. It was a mon nice mongrel dog. Mean looking mongrel dog. All right. This is a bit of a safer spot. You know what? Did I run into... I think... Let's see. Which way do we need to go? We need to keep walking south here. So we should be fairly safe here down... A Skoda! What's a Skoda? Picture everything being a little bit smaller under it, so I'm assuming that's a small, uh, smaller car. Smaller footprint. Rads! Getting lots of rads here. All the bloat flies just kind of swarming around there. Let's get out of here. All right, we got to get to the castle. All right, let's hit actually hit a rad X. Or I'm sorry, rad away now. A rad away, a check brand. Oh, I got you. Did you just know that? I guess you you probably did just know that. You know you know about your middle uh, Eastern European stuff, uh, Theo. All right, looking for a right away. Let's take that Salisbury steak. Delicious Salisbury steak. Personality. You only know it from Top Gear. Gotcha. No, we definitely don't have them up here. Only German cars we have are Volkswagen, Porsche, Volvo. There's some, look at those feral ghouls. They're just kind of all walking in a line. That was hilarious. All right. I kind of want to see what's going on here. Oh, that tack dog's got a cool bandana. Let's take that dog's bandana. Oh yeah, we got you got Audi, BMW, Mercedes, yeah, all those. All right, I'm not sure if this is going to be friendly or not, so let's save it. I hope is that it's just the Brotherhood just taking down some. Feral ghouls here. Personality. I'm not sure what that was. There's a bus on top of a building there. It's kind of awesome. That was personality. Do we not have Alfa Ro Romeo here now? Maybe I'm thinking of I'm thinking of Fiat. We have Fiat now, but Fiat's Italian, I believe. I'm terrible with cars. I shouldn't be talking about cars at all, actually. He's a truck man. I would love to have a truck, but you can't have a truck living in the city. I mean, you can, but living in a big city, it's just difficult to navigate. I wanted a Toyota Tacoma so bad. Extra cab, but I got to go for something more uh, affordable and more efficient. Probably some uh, super mutants in there. It sounds like maybe the <laughs> do you you, know, do you have a Tacoma Toasty? What do you have? Uh, the Minutemen were involved in this. That's the Minutemen. All right, so let's see. We need to get across the I channel thought, here, I, I believe. <laughs> you know, swimming is not an option. Not in that nasty water. 
You have a Civic. I have a Camry right now, and I love my Toyota Camry. Um, and I would love to have another Toyota. They're such good cars, such dependable, awesome cars. Where is Codsworth, by the way? What happened to Codsworth? He's supposed to be following me. I don't know what happened to Codsworth. Mostly the nicer models. Yeah, that makes sense. Diesel Tacoma, that sounds beastly. Or a Tesla. Oh yeah, Teslas are amazing. You know, we do have an electric car as well, and we absolutely love it. It's amazing. Cannot stress the Nissan Leaf enough and how amazing the Nissan Leaf is. It's incredible. That's a nuke. Was that Codsworth? Did Codsworth just go down in a blaze of glory? No, Codsworth, I don't have anything to repair you with. Oh, that car just blew up. Okay. I thought Codsworth just went down to like a nuke or something. We'll get Minutemen we'll get Minutemen radio up here in no time, right? Because we can get to the castle and go around this. How am I not getting irradiated right now by this nasty water? So, yeah, that would be an issue, but these batteries last way longer than what you think what we think batteries last. Like I mean, people are driving these cars, these uh South Boston Police Department. People are driving these uh, these batteries really long distances. Okay, legendary Marler Kill Claw. We are going to avoid at all cost. Tesla has a 10-year warranty on their batteries. That's awesome. And you think about the upkeep of a um, of a traditional gasoline car, like it's it kind of it kind of it kind of works out and evens out as well. You get 24 miles per gallon. That's pretty solid, actually. What sort of truck do you drive, Jake? And you live in town? Yeah. Got a couple of raiders here now. Ah, oh, he moved. Dang, nice throw. Got to give props where props are due, you know. I should have cooked up some of those. Uh... I still want a stealth boy right now. You drive, get 30 miles an hour at least, right? Oh, they can still see me. That's no fun. Surely one of those shots will get him, right? No, no shots got him. That shot got him. This stealth boy is not really uh, very stealthy, is it? The words of Ron Swanson, you better rethink that move, son. Mysterious Stranger! Oh yeah, right in the kidneys. Nice shot, Mysterious Stranger. Oh, that's an awesome car. Four-door king. That's like... I would get a lift kit on, on it, but man, that is... That is uh, definitely a preference. But uh, what a great car you have. That's awesome. I maybe put a red band. Let's see what the red bandana looks like on uh, on our girl right here. Yeah, you're, you're you're having to do a lot of commuting with your girlfriend, Tessie. So that makes total sense. Take some squirrel on a stick. Let's ch let's let's check out Judy with the red bandana. See how that looks. Ooh, I like the red bandana better, I think, guys. That's a pretty good look right there. All 
All right, let's keep kind of moving through here. I have no idea where Codsworth is. A little, I'm mildly concerned about that as well, you know. You're driving a manual. Ah, it's fine to drive a Civic. Plus, trying to d define manual manliness by what car you drive is not an accurate way to uh, sum up what being a man is, either. Gosh, I, I, I would love to have the Tacoma you have. It just didn't make sense for us to have a, uh, have a truck. Plus, the price is just crazy. There's Preston. News team, assemble! Oh, look, we're all assembled here. Look at this. Trash can Carla in on this? That's not trash can Carla. The Minute Woman. Alright, let's grab some, uh... Frag. Some 10 millimeter rounds. Stim pack. Stim packs. I'll take these mines. If not, I can sell them, you know, at worst. Your car gets good gas mileage, too, Theo. General. There it is. Pretty impressive, huh? Its real name is Flips. They're but Cheetos, the but peanut butter flavor. I thought you said you never had peanut butter. You've had peanut butter. Definitely. For 600 years old, it's in pretty good shape. That's right. They don't make them like they used to. We take this place back, people what, know what? we mean business. Oh, Theo driving a uh, Yaris? Yeah, something very compact, something very economical. Totally. That's totally what a uh, city planner would drive, right? But if we circle around south, we could also reach the main gate. What are we waiting for? What Just are we waiting for? Let's do this. Shoot those lobsters. No. If we split up, we can flank them from both sides. All right, so we need to be careful here. I'm really concerned about that Codsworth has just died somewhere right now. Let's go melee on these Mirelurks. What do you think? And it's paid off. Don't forget that. Oh. Oh, not as a spread. Okay, I've got gotcha. you. Yeah, it, it, it's, it is so true. You cannot go wrong with any Toyota. Toyotas are just amazing cars. Why can't I take out these Marler eggs? Things are about to get just really annoying here. Alright, come on, minute people. Come on, minute people. Why are they coming after me? Why do they like me so much? Alright, switch to shotgun. There we go. That's what we want to get you right in the face. I want to get him right in the face. Dang, we're gonna die to die to a mire lurk here. Nick Valentine is back in town. He was gone. The action points get build up a little bit here. Uh oh, 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 yeah, you forgot to reload, Judy. Not great. Got it. What is getting me this time? Oh, his little, little hatchlings. And a Nuka Cola bottle. There's another one. Oh, the crit didn't kill it. The crit didn't kill it. I need a combat shotgun bad, you know? Alright, one down. Let's uh, heal up real quick. I really need to cook up some of this stuff here. Oh, there's two coming after me. Great. Where are the Minutemen to help me when I need them, you know? God, what refills your action points? These things are just devastating. I should have brought power armor. Run for it, Judy. Hey, Minute people. Look at look at them over here. They're just having a great time hanging out over here. Not helping me. I need to, re I need to uh, uh, check the health here. I'm about to die. I think that's it for me. I think she's going to die right here. I don't think I'm going to survive this. Oh, I did. 
Somebody help. Oh, I'm crippled. No! I got three Mirelurks around me. How am, I, how am I supposed to survive this? I need, uh, what I need is, uh, some grenades here. Let's get some, uh, frags here. If you're gonna, you're not gonna let you guys kill me. I'm not gonna let you guys kill me. Oops, I just spelled it, sorry. That's two deaths for today. Yeah, I'm just on top of it, so she decided just to add it myself. Oh boy, I can't take a drink of water now. I'm gonna die again. This isn't even fair now, though. Ooh, that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. And let's go back down here to my uh, stem pack. We're gonna cry like these guys. That made all the difference. We got some frozen Mire Alert here at meet here now. Oh, it was, uh, let's save it now. It was my uh, Kellogg's pistol that saved the day right there. All right, let's switch over to frags right now. Get that out of the way. Take his legs out. Listrovis would be loving me using the Magnum right now, you know? I gotta execute a critical right there. Gotta get more stim packs. Let's switch over to my sniper rifle here. Help out the the Minutemen. Now, we don't want to shoot that guy. That would be bad. We don't want to shoot Preston Garvey. Oh, I guess they took out that Mire Alert. See, next they're going to make me uh, take out all the hatchlings, which is Looks like they've been painful. We're going to have to take out these eggs. Or they'll yep. Be back before we know it. Lurks like, like to hold up inside old buildings. So the walls are probably full of them. All right. Sure looks that way. We'll use the pistol for this. You hold here in the or we could probably use the axe. Maybe we can use the axe on some of these things. Yes, sir. Let's do this, General. All right. Oh, yeah, I forgot I'm the general, right? All right. This is, uh... Not 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 the most glamorous part of being a minute man, but you gotta just clean up a little bit sometimes, you know. We gotta find the right first. Keep hacking away here. I wish you get another level up here in a second. Alright, let's just go, let's just switch back over to the pistol. This is ridiculous. Some Meyer Alert meat out of this, anyway. No Meyer meat from you. That one should be taken care of. 
die, hatchling. Yeah, having a load on a car is, is, is tough, but sometimes it's just necessary for people. There we go. Missile launcher. Oh, shoot. This one's all mine. All right. Well, you just take him then, Preston. I'm just going to sit right here while you just uh, do your thing here. I like how it just comes right after me. It doesn't even bother with Preston. Preston initiated this whole thing. You definitely need need bats for these little critters here. Thanks for nothing here, guys. Let's finish off these eggs right here. Got a couple of missiles here. This is good. No, I totally bypassed those the first time I played this game. Nothing in the bureau here. Yeah, same with my car. It's paid for right now. Of course, car payments are definitely not ideal. Alright, we got a couple more. These egg things here. I got two missiles, I think. Surely there's got to be some more missiles in here. How about turn my pit boy light on? There we go. Let's illuminate the situation here. Alright, got that one done with. Freedom fries, yeah. You want to get technical about it, right? That's what the. Oh, I think we know what that is. A certain Meyer Lurk Queen. Like, you kill like two of these and like five more pop up, you know? I was not ready for this. All right, here we go, Toon Heads. Oh my gosh, this thing's gonna kill me. How many times have I said that today? Bad thing is I've only got a couple of uh, I've only got a couple of grenades here. I'm sorry, missiles. Uh, I really want to switch over to my shotgun as well. Point blank, baby. Get him, Judy. Nice. Oh, we're not taking a drink yet, Jake. There she is. Oh, shoot. And she's always going to be after me, right? A little bit closer so we get a little bit more accurate with this thing. Here it is. Impact! Did I miss? Did I seriously miss? I got a crit though. Let's use it. That song was, was, uh, hold on. Uh, Get her. That barely even scratched the surface. Oh my god. No chance. Out of death. Out of death there, uh, Toasty. Oh, this thing is a pain. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I don't know what to do here. Hey, yo, what's up, goat guy? Goat guy's on lunch break. Visiting us from lunch break. And I could I could even go get... I'm doing the Meyer Alert quest here, uh, goat guy. So I think you know what I'm getting into here. I mean, that missile launcher did absolutely nothing. You know what we're going to do? Let's go see our buddy Arturo.
Let's see if we can get some mini nukes, and let's see if that'll kind of speed up this process a little bit. How many deaths am I at today? I have three. Okay, I have three so far. All right. Let's go to let's go to Diamond City Market and see if we can kind of get some stuff here. Yeah, this is a tough one, especially at level 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 twelve now, almost level eleven. This Mirelark is going to get me up to the next level, though, for sure. All right. Let's try this again. Let's, we're going to go in this with some mini nukes this time and a fat man and a missile launcher. It probably wouldn't hurt for me to put on my power armor too, right? We'll see if Percy has any mini nukes first. Sure. Let's take a look. What do you have in the realm of ammo? Any mini nukes or missiles? I'll take either one. Nope. We're gonna need to wait. Until uh, Arturo can come back. Surely Arturo will have some mini nukes, right? Let's see. Waiting. I want to wait. There we go. We should be here at about 10 o'clock, I would say. 9.30. Yeah, that it, that it, that is probably helpful, too. I remember I just died a bunch of times the first time I did it. I'm a smart boy. Oh, Preston's with me. Preston, you decided to be my follower. Remember, I don't. All right, let's talk to Arturo. Arturo. If you're seeking safety, a long-range rifle. I'll take a look. Sure. Let's barter. Don't forget to stock up on ammo. Don't forget to stock up on ammo. He's got some flamer fuel. He got some missiles. No mini nukes though. Let's see if I've got anything that I can uh, trade here. You just heard crawl out through the fallout. No, I don't want to sell the cryos. Keep that. So, uh, some That's the easiest way to kill it is get the health bar down to zero. Oh yeah, Riz has got yeah, Riz does have the pro dips. Uh doesn't he? I'll take a look. Sure. Feel free to test the grips. Feel free to test the grips. Is looking into some uh, former Let's see. Let's try this again. Look at what he's got in the ammo department. It was in the west stand. He's got some fusion cores too. We'll take all your missiles. But let's see what I've got to trade with him. I guess maybe there Tell you what we can trade this bottle mine right here. And I mean weird funny, not haha. Keep cry later. <laughs> the Oasis called Macon? Oh my gosh. But, uh, uh, I guess it's oh like, no! Uh, Toasty! With him, you should tell Nick. Or the You've guys. insulted our good friend Theo. Or maybe both. Let's find out. Just avoid with a military base. About civilization. Uh, I need to look at my ammo and trade some ammo here. Where am I from? I'm from Atlanta. Yeah, yeah, well, I, I'm able to hide my Georgia accent pretty well, honestly. Um, very carefully, I, I've hit, I've, you know, living living in Atlanta as certainly... Oh, I do have a mini nuke. Awesome. We'll go grab, we'll go grab the, um... All right, let's go. Yeah, yeah, I'm from Atlanta. Um, I'm from Atlanta. I've, I'm not. I don't really claim North Georgia as home anymore. Like I claim, I'm, I'm from Atlanta. People ask where I'm from. I don't say I'm from LJ. I say I'm from Atlanta. Atlanta by choice. Yeah, I've lost a lot of my accent living in the city, actually. And part of it is just through like practicing some some voice tricks and everything. You can sort of. Uh, I mean, that's how a lot of. Let's, let's think. Let's think if you were a reporter. And you wanted to go into media, you could never you know, go into media with a southern accent, uh, or for the most part. Like even even some of these 
some of these reporters I know who are with CNN who are from the South and grew up here, but they have these techniques they use to sort of deflect some of that accent. Eliminating your roots. Ah, oh, no, I, I, uh, I'm from, I'm from Atlanta. People ask me I'm from Atlanta. I don't say I'm from, I'm from LJ. I say I'm from Atlanta. What am I looking for here? We need to get back home. That's what we're doing. And we're actually going to take power armor with us this time, I think. You have to work. That's what it's called, goat guy. The non, the non, uh, non-regional dictation. You have. You, it's it's a it's an art and it's something that you practice over time. And I think you know you sort of gain you know an accent from you know your surrounding area, of course. And I think in Atlanta, like you don't get that many people with that strong southern accent. So that's part of how I've learned to enunciate certain things and it's sort of helped me to shed some of that southern accent. Yeah, Riz, uh, Goat Guy's in Dallas. Yeah, you don't have an accent either, Theo. D-Town shout-out. Yeah, I, 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 I've heard you talk, Hoovian Girl. You, have, you, have a very, you've, you definitely have the... Uh, I, need, I need to uh, hop out here and craft this thing. You definitely have an English accent for sure. Let me hop out here. I know, I want to modify my power armor, but I have to hop out first. Let me hop out of my power armor. I was being stubborn there for a second. All right, let's craft this thing. Let's just repair everything if we can. I should have plenty of things to repair this stuff with. So we're going to go into this thing. Nice. We're going to go into this um, mission fully equipped here. Yeah, we were just having a whole conversation about South Georgia right there. Right, we're going power armor this time. Let's grab our friend the fat man. Let's see. Let's put the fat man on my favorites here. And we'll put the missile launcher as well on my favorites for now. All right, let's go do some damage. Let's try this again. Judy is rocking the power armor. All right, let's see. Let's get to the map. Back to the castle. We got to take on this Mire Alert Queen here. See how this goes. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You can have that general American accent for sure. Yeah, there's definitely some Midwestern accents as well. All right, let's see. Where's there's the castle? Let's quick save it here. All right, let's go take out all these little Mire Lurk issues first. These little Mire Lurk hatchlings, pesky little hatchlings. There it is, Minnesota. Oh yeah, Minnesota. It's very Canadian. Oh, yeah, you betcha. <laughs> what the hell was that? All right, Preston. Will you please be a deer and not suck this time, Preston? Let's load up our... Let's load up the fat man here. There she is. There she blows. 
just gonna come out of the water right here? Now you're mine. Yeah, Preston. Oh, Preston says he's got this. I can I can walk away. There it is. All right, Preston. This is gonna sting a little bit, okay? Oh, that definitely did some damage. No, what happened to me? How did I just die? Add another death on there. I thought it came from the sea there. I thought I thought the Mirelurk Queen came out of the ocean. I was wrong. Obviously. All right. Let's load the fat man back up here. I mean, Preston is definitely going to take a beating here if he gets too close to that Mirelurk Queen. He's going to get drilled by the fat man here. I'm kind of excited to take Judy to uh, Nuka, Nuka World now. Yeah, Preston is good for nothing, right? He's, he, he doesn't have any self-confidence. He doesn't want to be general. He's got way more experience at being in the Minuteman than Judy does. Ju Judy, like, kills, like, a couple of things. Light, you want to be the general, Judy? Alrighty, then. Alright. Let's get the fat man out and ready to rock and roll. Oh, let's do this, young lady. Where's she at? Where is that young lady? A.K.A. the Mire Alert Queen. Wait, something's out there. You think, buddy? There she is. Drilled her. Oh, she's after me now, though. This is barely going to put a dent in her, right? Okay, how am I dying here? Is, is, it the, is it the poison or the acid that's getting me here? What the heck is going on? I need to get more of a distance here. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I'm at four. I'm at, I thought I was at five. Did we miss what? Did we miss something? The acid is killing me. That's what it is. All right. Well, stay away from, stay away from the acid. I, I got to get more distance here, I guess, then. Is there something... Also, my hit point. Look where my hit points are at right now. Is there something I can take that will reduce my poison damage? Need to cook up some of that. All right. Drunk live stream. This is a family show, guys. It's a family. It's a family affair here on Universal TV. Every death whiskey. Gross. No dark liquor for this guy. All right, here we go again. Let's try again, guys. All right, where is she? All right, let's load up the mini nuke here. Where is it? Where is she, guys? There she is. Got a piece of her right there. She's on to me now, though, guys. Make connection. Made a connection. I'm about to get a crit, too, so maybe that'll help me with some damage here. Let's reload up here. Hey, hey, buddy. I got these hatchlings to freaking deal with. Our pet's heads are falling off. Those little, little things are just biting at my heels here, nipping at, nipping at the heels. Alright, she's down there now. 
Oh great! I just got hit by the by the by the acid. Look at it, it's just taking my health down. Look how it's taking my health down. Got to balance it out. Now rethink your move there, Mario Alert Queen. Oh my gosh! Wasting shotgun ammo on these guys. I got a crit now. That's good. All right. All right, let's load back at the missile launcher here. Oh, after we take the rest of these guys out. I got hit by acid again. How did they hit me with acid? What hit me with acid that time? These little, little things are driving me crazy. Forget the Mire Alert Queen. These little hatchlings are going to kill me. Finally. I got a crit. Let's use it. See if we can get a little sneak here like Goat Guy mentioned. That should switch back over the missile launcher here. Oh my gosh. These guys aren't dead yet. These guys will not die. Alright, let's execute this crit here. Oh my gosh. These hatchlings are driving me crazy. These are way more annoying than the Mire Alert Queen, you know? See if I can get a critical on this with this with the with the rocket launcher here. Pretty sure Preston has basically done nothing since I've been dealing with these. Wait, where did she go? Is she gone? There's no way she's gone. Kind of Alright, here come more of those little of hatchlings here. She's down below us, I just saw her. We're gonna level up just from killing these hatchlings, you know? Oh my gosh, is she coming up here to get me? I can hear slimy self just. That's great if she's going to stay on the outside. That's actually a huge benefit to me. Got a great spot here now. I want to hit her in the torso. Mysterious Stranger! Come on, Mysterious Stranger! That's what I'm talking about! Show some... Hey, can we, can we, like, show some love for the Mysterious Stranger in that shot right there? That was awesome. Can somebody clip that? That was awesome. Yes! Mysterious Stranger for the win. Somebody clip that. We die from the hit here. All right. Good work, people. We aren't done yet. It only took two deaths, you know? Yeah, somebody clipped that. That was a that was amazing. Alright, let's power up this radio transmitter now, tune heads. Yes! Let's go, mysterious stranger. Thank you, Riz. I mean, I could always go back and clip it, but thank you for clipping that. I think that's all of it. Oh, there's a uh, Guns and Bullets here. Ballistic weapons permanently do 5% critical damage. Nice! Alright, don't I need to build something here? Well, I guess it could be worse. See what you can do with it. 
Woo! That was exciting. All right, we need a generator, I believe, right? Let's see what the... And actually, this is a good place for me to stop today because I have to go. Yeah, the stranger is where it's at, Jake. I will never underestimate the stranger again. That was amazing. All right, we're going to pause it right here for today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in, as always. We're going to send the party. Thank you so much for the uh, clip there, Hoobian Girl. Um, we're going to send it over to Helsey. We haven't raided her in a few days. I remember how to type raid. Yeah, we're going to send it over to Helsey, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in today, as always, guys. I'll be back tomorrow with another episode of The Predator in Skyrim. Really looking forward to playing that with you guys. And then it's going to be State of Decay uh, 2 on Thursday and Friday. You can check my schedule. Thanks for the clip there, Goat Guy, as well. Thank you so much for being a part of my broadcast, as always. I truly appreciate it. Um, and, yeah, I'm looking forward to tomorrow with some Skyrim. So we'll be back at 1 p.m. tomorrow with Skyrim, guys. Stay tuned.